Time to play with some clay. I'm just getting ready to uh, edit some video from today. And I wanted to stop and uh, ask you to do something. Like, subscribe, click the bell, and make a comment in my videos. And check out my instructional DVDs, which are linked below this uh, video. All right, let's get on with today's video. All right, I've got uh, the uh, feathers to scale. To this figure and so I'm going to be cutting out uh, the feathers I'm going to be using which is going to be this uh, eagle feather right here the way I do this uh, is complicated and I do talk about it in one of my one or two of my uh, instructional DVDs uh, you can take a look at the uh, review of each one of my D DVDs uh, I got nine of them uh, down in the uh, description of this uh, video uh, there's a link there so you can go and watch a little video on each of the nine DVDs. Anyway, I'm going to do that now and I'll be right back. All right, I've cut out uh, two uh, blanks of uh, feather from a, a piece of, of um, monster clay. Now I'm going to uh, put the armature in it and uh, I'll come back after I do that. I'm not going to be able to work very long today because I've got a couple coming down from uh, out of state and they're going to be here in about uh, maybe a half hour, maybe even less. Um, and so my day will be pretty well taken up with them and I'll pick this up maybe Saturday. All right, come back in a few minutes with the uh, feathers uh, started. All right, I've decided to... Uh, change out the straps they're too thin and it makes it too hard to get underneath them and and fill in underneath them so i'm going to take off what i did yesterday and uh do these differently i got i can't have them go to the foundry this way because it would be too hard to cast first of all and uh I can't have that. Because when it's too hard to cast, it costs me more money. <laughs> and I'm trying to keep this at a certain level of price. I don't want to make it so expensive that nobody can afford it. Well, I've made one braid, and I'm using uh, the uh, monster clay to do that with. And uh, I made the scarf around his neck, and uh, I think that looks good. Um, so I'm going to make the other braid, and I'll be right back. All right, it's time to paint the monster clay to look like the other clay so there's no confusion when people look at it for those of watching me do this for the first time what i did was i took a sample of my jmac clay to the foundry uh, not foundry but a hardware store and I had them match the color of the clay. And I got a flat indoor paint, uh, house paint. And they matched the color. And uh, it goes on kind of bright, but it, it uh, 
it dulls as it dries. Because sometimes I use wax and sometimes I use this monster clay. I just started using monster clay a little while back. So this is a fairly new clay that I started using. But it takes the paint fine, nicely. And when it dries, it looks like the clay around it. Nobody's saying, what is that made of? <laughs> And it doesn't matter whether I get it on the uh, the regular clay, because I can just scrape it off when I have to work on the clay. I'm going to put this clay aside because I really haven't got any of them sold. I just wanted to try something. And I tried it, and uh, now it's time to think about doing something else. I got that new clay yesterday, that uh, Sergeant Art clay. Yeah, I want to try some of that stuff out. So I might do a, a bust or something in that clay. It'll probably take two coats of this paint to get it to, to where I like it. This will be the last I do today. Uh, Alright, that's uh, the feathers, and they're in a little temporary mount just to hold them there while they dry. And I painted the uh, monster clay uh, the same color as the clay. And I'm going to uh, come back and add those feathers to this clay, and I'm, then I'm going to just take some final photographs of it. And uh, so I have photographs of it. I, I may work on her a little bit, but I'm not going to get into de heavy detail until I get ready to get this ready for a foundry uh, to uh, cast it. I, I don't have any orders on it. I have nobody saying they want it in their gallery right now, so uh, there's no reason for me to go to that extent right now. I just... Had a few things I wanted to work out, and that's why I've been working on it for about the last week or two. So, I'll try something new and different uh, starting next week. And that's when I'll see you next. Good night, everybody. Have a great weekend, and stay safe, please. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional dvds uh the link down below this video all right see you next time